everybody. Adam the Flash Building here, the sweetest, most lovable tutor on YouTube. Everything I say is nice and everything I do is puppies and sunshine. Okay, so let's get started. I'm working in Flash CS3, so what we'll do is we'll go... I'm just going to use ActionScript 3 file because I'm used to that, but it doesn't really matter for this example. It's just going to be all about graphics and shapes. So let's click down on the Rectangle tool and see what Flash CS3 and CS4 may give us as custom shapes and maybe there's slight variations depending on which flash application you're working in CS3, CS4, MX, 9 but in mine I have oval, rectangle and then the primitive for those two and then the polystar tool but what if I want something a little more something a little more creative like they set the tool set they give us in fireworks let's open a new fireworks document 800 wide 400 high okay now let's click on their shape tool let's put it back on rectangle because that's I think where it is at default when you come and open the application for the first time so let's click down on that and you'll see look at all those cool shapes and you're thinking to yourself didn't the same people create these two programs and why couldn't they have just put the same custom stock shapes not custom but the same stock shapes in both programs they could have easily done that I don't see why not anyways I'm gonna demonstrate with the star let's take the star and you can take any of those shapes any ones you want I'm gonna drag it out to stage and I'm gonna adjust the points here there we go and now I'm gonna change the color to a standard gray I'm going to press control C, go back into flash, and then I'm going to press control V. And it's going to bring it right in, no problem. Okay, so when it does, it's going to bring it in as a movie clip. New layer. I'm going to select new layer. And I'm going to keep all paths editable. And I'm going to have keep all text editable just in case I was bringing in text. Press OK. And there we have it you can see this is a group shape now let's double click it you see it is a drawing object now when you double click on that you'll see it is a now a native flash shape now not a lot of people pick up on this and using fireworks with flash together makes it really easy okay so let's click on the pen tool now actually let's click on the point the sub selection tool I'll show you something cool look at this I can select the points so if I just want this one point I select it make sure I grab that just that one did you see what I just did you see what I just did I just manipulated a custom stock or a stock shape from fireworks and flash that means the whole thing is editable maneuverable choppable you know what I'm saying you can just grab this line right here and move it look at that come on how cool is that it looks like an eagle that just got blown up by an m80 okay we'll see you next lesson have fun with shapes